come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Welcome aboard, friends, to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. It's a movie review podcast, kind of, sort of. We talk about movies. We think we're movie reviewers. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> kind of, sort of. I mean, what else would it be? Uh, we're a chat, a chat podcast. A chat? We talk amongst ourselves after watching Welcome a movie. group chat. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what would be really awesome? Helps us out a whole lot if you would take the time out of your day to go give us a like, a star rating, or give us a review on iTunes or wherever you found us, be it Stitcher, TuneIn, or Google Podcasts. All the places, because that uh, helps us uh, filter up through the algorithms, Mm. the... What do you call it? The morass. I love filtering stuff in the the other. That's right. We want to rise to the top with buoyancy Ah. (laughs) through the layers of. Yeah, okay. Sure. Uh, So, but first of all, we should probably introduce ourselves. These are the Internet Radio (laughs) Superstars. Sean. Michaela. Holly. And I'm Colin. And tonight. We watched a forgotten low budget independent movie. I'm sorry, <laughs> forgotten. Chosen by well, we're shedding a light on a on, on movies from the past. Tonight we chose we watched a movie that was chosen by Holly. Holly, what did we watch tonight? We went to the top tonight. <laughs> did we go over the top? <laughs> not, well, not quite over. We Just went to, to the, the top. top. Went to the top with Cliffhanger. Cliff, not the Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. There's from only one the Cliffhanger. Year 1993. And directed by... Rennie Harlan. Do you realize, Holly, that you are mm. now responsible mm-hmm. for putting Rennie Harlan on the, the wall? wall of fame. I know! Uh-huh. This is my second Rennie Harlan movie. Yeah, it's on the wall. Yep. So wow. all this, I, yeah, this I never is, thought I would say that. Long Kiss Goodnight. Mm-hmm. Uh, Deep Blue Sea. Deep Blue sea and now yeah. Cliffhanger. I am responsible for two of those. He's yeah. on the wall. Thank you. You're Thank very, you very welcome. Much. I'm happy to do it. <laughs> uh, Rennie Harlan. So, uh, I mean... This guy, where the fuck is his career gone? Uh, in TV reason now. Days? He does do TV now. Does he? What does yeah. he do? Like a uh, white collar. Yeah. Oh. Like, like he USA. did white collar. Yeah. Like USA shows. Yeah. Uh, white collar, white collar's welcome. been gone for like two years. Anything yeah. after that? It's been, and it was only like so one or two out. episodes at a time too. Mm-hmm. It was not a lot of TV. I feel, I feel like it was like Desperate Housewives, too. I, I feel like know. he probably did I'm, Burn Notice, too. Oh, like, I, I can like totally see him did. doing Burn probably. Notice. He probably did. Well, I, don't know. I mean, come on. There has to be, like, I mean, this is, like, he's in director jail, right? He yeah. has to be. Yeah. If he's doing those kind of shows. But this is a guy who used to command, like, a platoon of people and making yeah. gigantic Hollywood movies like yes. Cliffhanger mm-hmm. and Die Hard 2 mm-hmm. yeah. and Cutthroat <laughs> Island. He did mm-hmm. a Hercules movie. Yes, that I think was the one that, <laughs> the that Legend broke. The Legend of Hercules, yeah. 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 That's the one that broke his uh, spirit or something uh, or his bankability. I was going to say, I said, did, I, for me, it started with the Covenant. That I was did. when I was like, I've had enough. <laughs> what are you talking about? Was that before? <laughs> after, after, uh, he did four episodes of Burn Notice. <laughs> ah, yes. Only one of White <laughs> Collar and Covert Affairs. Oh. Covert Affairs. Oh, Piper Parabo. Oh, wow. Nice. He was a USA regular. Wow. He was. <laughs> well, you got to remind me, was the Covenant before or after the X? Exorcist the Dominion. Uh, Sean, since you have it pulled up. The Covenant, Covenant was, it looks like. Because uh, there's like Mind Hunters is in there, and that sucks. Mind Hunters, Exorcist the Beginning in 2004. Oh, the Covenant yeah. was 2006. Yeah. After Exorcist? Yeah. Right yeah. after. Yeah, yeah. the Covenant thing. is when it stops for me. So he, there was something <laughs> before that then, because he teamed up with Stallone one time before. Uh, Anybody? Driven. Any? Oh, I was going to say. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> driven. Mm. This the movie, the know. movie when Stallone was in actor jail, and he wasn't even in like any of the ads. Yeah, oh, the, wow. really? His name wasn't on the poster. It was like, how do you not? Yeah. Really, Stallone, yeah. Stallone was in actor at jail? one point. Yeah, yeah. he was, was that like after daylight, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was after daylight because daylight was after this, mm-hmm. after Cliffhanger, and then uh, what was the really dramatic uh, um, Copland that Stallone oh, was in? Oh, yeah. <laughs> And I think that was like one of the last things that he, because I think by the time he did uh, Driven, it was like, I mean, I, you can't believe this now, right? Yeah. But like in that period of time, yeah. it was like they were making a major Hollywood film and not saying that he was in it mm-hmm. because he Damn. was box office yeah. poison. I think it was because everybody thought of him as an 80s action hero. And as they were transitioning into the 2000s, it was like, well, so you don't like want to remember yeah. that guy, yeah, you know? <laughs> When was uh, Cliffhanger was 93, was uh, the Rocky series 
over at this point? I mean, Rocky Balboa and Creed notwithstanding, I'm, you know, was Rocky, Rocky five? five? I think Rocky five was after this. Was it really? I'm, I'm going to double check. I, I feel like it was. Well, let's see here. We had, uh, Rocky four was, uh, uh, 85. Uh huh. Rambo three was 88. 88. I'm going to go with Rocky five was like 90. Yeah, yeah you are correct. 1990. Uh, 1990. Yeah. Okay. Yep. This movie came out the same year as our beloved demolition man. Mm-hmm. Right. That's well, right. this was on the, if I remember correctly, this was like a kind of a resurgence as Stallone as a nineties action hero, mm-hmm. you know, because cliffhanger was a huge movie. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Hugely successful at the time. As it should be. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, just saying. But I mean, even before that, I mean, again, it's like Stallone is this guy who, I mean, we've, we've talked about him on the podcast. Before. Probably more than anyone else at this point. I know. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Well, Stallone and Canon Films, right? Yeah. Is Stallone yeah. on the wall? Yeah. He's been on the he wall for a always. long time. <laughs> he, what do we have in the wall He for? built the wall. Had- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he climbed the wall. Yeah. He, did, he went he over it. the wall. We over had- the top. Demolition wall. Man and Cobra. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Rambo yeah. 3. Yeah, we yeah. had him. And now oh, Cliffhanger. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. That's yeah. a lot of Stallone. It's his wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're saying of the 80s action heroes, he's the one who survives the best of his filmography, at least seems to hold up or mm-hmm. continues to provide yeah. fascination. I think that's safe to say. Okay. He's been in some pretty iconic movies. This is very true. I'm just saying. Yeah. So Cliffhanger, where did this movie come from or what? Uh, how did, how'd we get to this point? Um, well, <laughs> it was uh, partially written by Stallone, but it started much earlier than that because there is a premise credit at the beginning of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I aspired to be a premise by. You don't see that credit very often. No, yeah. never. Yeah. Based Someone on a premise never, by. Unless some legal obligations force you to put that oh, credit yeah, into was, a movie. A massive yeah. I feel like we could get that with how much shit we copyright on this show, right? We uh, could yeah, get probably. a premise by. Right? It's, 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 it's well, coming in the next yeah, couple of years, I think. I think that's the goal. That's the goal, yeah, right? Yeah, because I think in this case, they <laughs> yeah. probably, they correct me if I'm wrong, but like I think in the past you had to have something written down where this is where we're you know mm-hmm. we need to we need to write something down somewhere yeah. so we can point at it but i'm sure like a guy had an article in a magazine where he mentioned like going up uh you know rescue yeah climbers. i don't i don't know what his, isn't see isn't this just the story of db cooper kind of expanded on and extrapolated on right, right? like yeah. that's kind of what i thought i was like i've heard this story before it actually sort of happened Actually, but we yeah. never had a resolution to it <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah like that's what I was like I've, right, I've seen this movie already like I read about it yeah because you know? the story is the script was was bought for five hundred thousand dollars and they started to make it and then um is it John uh John Long John mm-hmm. I believe it was that John name Long. sounds familiar I think it was John Long premise, premise by premise, John Long yep premise credit um he came out and said that in the 80s he had co come up with this premise with a famous uh uh climber uh, and he had, I don't know what the proof was, but he said he had, pr- but they had proof, apparently, that he came up with this premise with a climber. Uh-huh. And so he got himself a premise credit. <laughs> <laughs> I want that like premise credit. But that's so after, bad. So like somebody else, we're saying the, the the actual writer of the screenplay probably had no knowledge of this guy. Yeah. Well, you, we don't uh, know. Michael, uh, uh, what's, what's the name of Who were the writers of the France? screenplay? Michael France and and uh, Stallone. Stallone and Stallone. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't work on anything he can't write on. Mm-hmm. Nope. Yeah, he's got to tailor yeah. it. Got tailor it to his ego. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tailor it to himself. And to his allegedly, strengths. he wanted to do this movie because he wanted to conquer his fear of heights. Well, well, well bravo to that man. <laughs> I mean, bravo. I mean, you know, good for still him. In the world is your sandbox. So I, you can do I that, right? Not, you know, I would not make a movie about snakes to conquer that fear. I was going to say, that. I would also like no. to conquer my fear of heights. I would not make this movie. No, no, that would not I be know. the way I would go. Well, there is a, a shot very early in the movie, probably while the credits are still running, where we are looking at Stallone hanging from a uh, rock face. Mm-hmm. That the, the, mm-hmm. I'm not a climber. Yeah, the rock. That's yeah. good. Rock face. Rock face from a rock. Yeah. An outcropping. <laughs> yeah. uh, yep, definitely an outcropping. Right. That's exactly it jutted it out from yeah. the rest of the cropping. Yeah. Yeah. He's hanging on, and yeah. he like waves at the camera because I think we're on a helicopter with yeah. his, his buddies. Right. Yeah. And the camera then does this move. Oh, 
Oh, I hated it. It made me <laughs> nauseous. <laughs> Where it goes, uh, what, yeah, what everything about degree? this movie makes me sick. What do, you, what do you call this kind of move? It's like a it's up a, and over. It's a crane up and over. Yeah. Colin's doing hand motions. For yeah, you. I know you can't <laughs> see this. Uh, yeah. yeah, he says, "What's this?" And then he's moving his hand. <laughs> looks like he's kind of palming a basketball. Give, give a yeah. name to the, this. <laughs> yeah, we're going up Colin and over the top never of done a basketball. In his life. No. I have a feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Cameras are going like this. When's so, the last time you you held a basketball, Colin? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's cool. been a hot minute. <laughs> <laughs> which is weird. I knew a guy who like tried Played to basketball. invent a new basketball, which Wait, was basically what? What? Yeah, okay. he no, I need to hear dimpled this. Dimpled yeah. the surface of a basketball like mm-hmm. a golf ball mm-hmm. so you could actually like so they're a little well, divots so you can, in like, it. Grip it. So you can grip it. Yeah. Isn't it already made to be gripped? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. There's, there's <laughs> it's a, he made it easily it. grippable for people who are not athletically inclined. I, I, yeah. I guess. It feels like. Yeah. The, the balls were getting I'm going to make this people. easier for white people. I thought I the mean, whole point of the dimples on the golf ball was for like aerodynamics, not for grip. That's so that I seems I mean, counterintuitive. So. Maybe well, that's why the yeah. NBA yeah. turned it down. But yeah. There you go. Because an actual Piece basketball has the opposite of that, which is raised bumps. So did he pitch it to the NBA? Oh, yeah. I remember. Spalding? I think somewhere I made. Look what I've got for you. I'm trying to think if I have it here or if it's somewhere there may be a prototype of the Okay, well anyway, I would like to see that prototype. <laughs> okay, so uh it. yeah, but I mean the, the but the movie goes out of its way to demonstrate that Stallone yeah. is actually hanging off of a cliff. Before uh William Shatner did it famously in Star Trek 5. No, nope, that was before this. Ah. Are you talking about uh Generations? No, uh, Star Trek V, like, The Final Frontier, where, oh. where he's like scaling up the, the side I'd of there. I missed that one. Well, it's not him. It's a body double. Well, obviously, it's Shatner. <laughs> right? Shatner's, not, Shatner's not climbing Shatner a mountain. Shatner at like 70 years yeah, old. Yeah, he's not yeah, climbing a mountain. You should be happy if you get him to stand up in a movie. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, <laughs> he gets out of that fucking chair. Yeah, you yeah. should be happy yeah, if he stands up. There was some mountain-ish climbing in Generations, and I'm, uh, it was definitely not him. Fighting that must just be the character. Fuck. Kirk is like a, a mountain climber or something. Know, who knows? He's an outdoorsman, he sings, I think. Even when he sings, he sits down. Yeah. <laughs> he what? Even when he sings, he sits down. When you ever it's seen like lounge sing, singing. Uh, yeah, he sits down usually. You ever yeah. seen him do that rendition of Rocket Man? Everyone yes. has seen that. Okay. So <laughs> I know not what you're talking about. I wish about. I had oh not. Oh my God. Shattering Rocket seen, Man? No, I've How never seen, not this. seen this. Oh, shit. No, no I've never seen this. this. Oh, I, I will watch. Well, when this is over. Yeah, he's got we'll a cigarette. Watch. No, we're going to pause right now. Oh, it sounds yeah, great. Like, Rocket Man. Rocket Man. Oh, I get that. Oh, it's ridiculous. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Um, what are we talking about? <laughs> uh, Stallone's fear of yeah. heights. Yeah, cliff okay. hanging. Sure. He was hanging from a cliff. He was. Part, I, you I can mean, take the title of. two ways, but there's the was, literal he version. Kind of, he, a lot of it was his stuff, man. Yeah, but I mean, I, I, I guess I get that, but I was impressed that no, yeah. in that scene, because I'm like looking for the harness, which I'm assuming was there. You don't yeah, put they your... Painted, I think they were able to paint things out at this point. Uh, that was, that's another, I mean, yeah, a lot of a lot of it was taken out, but there were scenes that Rennie Harlan was like, yeah, we can see too much. So he, the stunt double actually did it without wires and shit. So there are some it. legit scenes that it's like he's really hanging there like with nothing. I believe it. This dudes yeah. will do that. Mm-hmm. Crazy, yeah. crazy motherfuckers. Well, I mean, we I got have to get paid. Okay. Well, oh, Rooker, yeah. Rook, Michael Rooker is why we need the stuntman Oscar. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, I know, right? yes. We really and, do. And the one was uh, Wolfgang uh, Gullick. Gullich. Yeah, I saw name? that name in there. Yeah. That's that's the stunt double that did like all this crazy shit, and he ac- he actually is in the Guinness Book of World Records for the most like insanely expensive aerial stunt. Mm. Yeah, from this movie, the uh, plane to plane stunt. Uh, that was uh, that was pretty crazy. Yeah, and it in, yeah, and th- in 1993, it was so, yeah, that's it was some so shit. dangerous that the insurance company refused to insure it. Stallone took a pay cut to pay for that stunt. It cost a million dollars just for that stunt. I believe okay. it. Yeah. I All right. So it. we're. I, I kind of want to. I mean, if you'll indulge yeah. me, I want. I oh, do want to sure. talk yeah. about the yeah. two major stunt sequences that start this movie off. But since we're yeah. talking about the plane, that's the second one. Maybe sure. we should talk about this first. Sure. Okay. So I mean, I have seen real aerial stunt work probably done in like it seems like the Roger Moore era James Bond shit where you mm-hmm. actually had guys like car- climbing out of a plane and getting on the wing or getting on the top of the right. plane like while the thing is in the air and mm-hmm. uh, then obviously you've got uh the dark knight rises right. oh right of obviously yeah. yeah that's the one i think of yep. yeah yeah 
I Which think it seems like, but this is like this. It seems like this one leads into the Dark Knight Rise. I was like, this right? is you know? very, yeah, yeah. This is like a, yeah. when yeah. Bane throws From little finger out of a plane. That, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's little finger, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it is. Yeah. It is not something yeah. I didn't realize till recently. Yeah. I'm just yep. like, holy shit, that's mm-hmm. him. Perhaps he's wondering it. why you would shoot a man. That's what it was <laughs> yeah. before throwing him out of a plane. Yes, brother. The fire rises. God damn, I gotta watch that movie. Really <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, no, you fucking do. I love that movie, yeah, and I'm yeah, saying it. I love that yep. movie. Yeah, I love Rises. I don't give a shit what you think. I love that I movie. I saw Rises three times in 24 hours when it came out. I see it's you really, mm-hmm. but you're wow. saying it's disappointing next to the other two, but it's still yeah. better than most movies out there. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. But that's like that say, like saying what the worst one of those three movies is is still better than most movies. Mm-hmm. Like it's yeah. three amazing movies. That's it's it's yeah. it's hard to rank that's them. Like, oh, you're the only the third. Richest person in Forbes. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're still in the top three. Right. It's fine. You're still doing all You're right. Still good. You're, You're still fine. good. You'll be okay. You'll make your money back. Yeah. Well, the the stunt sequence in the in question that uh Wilhelm Gulich, what's his name? Walter Wolfgang, Wolfgang, Wolfgang. Gulich. <laughs> Wilhelm Wilhelm. I just wanted to see how many you'd go through. Well, it <laughs> said uh it said that aerial or what did what did it say? Plane to plane aerial sequence by. Mm-hmm. And I'm yeah. like, okay, so ah. he was the guy Specific. on the cable, I guess, right? Yes, yes. So explain how do the, what's well what's the stunt and then tell us what the um uh, what they're actually trying to accomplish in the plot um okay well at this point we're introduced to our villains of the movie there is a heist happening a plane to plane heist and they're stealing uh uh cases of money from a mint and um, from the denver mint from the denver uncirculated mint. bills yeah, which, by the way, Denver Mint only circulates coins, so that's impossible. But, <laughs> but there's these little so things that the, the Secret the Service coins. get yeah. into movies, so people go like, ah, we got to rob them, and then there's nothing there. Oh, yeah. the Secret Service. Yeah. <laughs> so they well, are they, they are attempting to pull off a heist in midair, plane to plane. So they have a cable from one plane to the next plane where they're kind of shimmying the cases down to the plane. Mm-hmm. This seems sound. It seems I like this. It, I, 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 I like this. If you're going to steal money yeah. from a plane and have to get away, like right off the bat, because, you know, the plan obviously like falls mm-hmm. apart and I have to do. That's why we get this movie. Yeah. But the whole idea is to like, there's one plane, there's the other, get the money from this plane to that mm-hmm. plane. And then you're already in the plane and you fly the fuck out of there. Yeah. No, as mm. as we're wa- as we're watching, <laughs> mm, I have major problems with. I know because yeah. right. So okay, okay. so well, no, go, what's your problem? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, my yeah, problem is problems. like it's it's wildly impractical. Is my problem with it? Well, like, sure. Like it would be so much easier to go your DB Cooper route of just holding up a plane and hijacking it, which in a pre nine eleven world is a lot easier to do. But this is but the what, thing that like blew my out, mind. Like, it's like no, they just had, hijack the plane and take it wherever you what? want and land it and then take off because they had already done this and this is i guess the thing where i was like what the fuck you know it's like i get if you have to somehow get the thing off the you have to get you have the stolen thing Mm -hmm. you got to get out of the plane Mm -hmm. but in this movie it turns out much like die hard 2 which came out just before this uh also a rennie harlan movie Mm -hmm. also a rennie harlan movie. so you know all the guys who like you know there's all these treasury guys are on this plane Mm -hmm. and there's a new treasury guy so you're like ooh, he's the fucking mole but it turns out it's all the other guys are actually in on the on the the one guy because he blows the other guys and away. then he blows the other guys away i don't know if they were in on it well yeah because they pulled their guns they pulled on the guns first yeah and so he just said he killed the them good, at that point yeah the good treasury guy who wasn't part of the crew they're like bah! and then there's gunplay well, yeah. on the plane which seems wildly yeah. impractical because in, it's a yes, pressurized environment right yeah, yeah they get blowing <laughs> blowing your co-pilot away uh right there i'm just like the bullet's gonna go through his head and yeah. uh depressurize everything yeah that, that mm-hmm. could be a problem yeah. that's yep. not great yep yeah yeah but you know bad idea bad news so at this to, point then, to steal hundred million dollars so. but you have total control of the plane as the robber at this point yes so you can do whatever you want with this plane. exactly right as, you can as, jump out of the plane let the plane crash mm-hmm. and you get away with the money mm-hmm. like like db cooper. cooper did yes exactly <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah Okay. And he was but, never found, right? But mm-hmm. that would be less cool. That than, would be less than cool. doing this more right. elaborate. Exactly. Thing. Yeah. This is some executive decision type shit going on here. <laughs> <laughs> That's another one. What they do? They flew underneath the plane and like hooked onto yeah. the bottom of it or something. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Watch that one. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, Steven Seagal. Wow. Well, Jesus so the, Christ. the bad guys are uh this is uh Eric Quaylen. Yep. Who's yeah. played by 
John Lithgow, the great and wonderful, incomparable John Lithgow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, whose name I thought was Eric Whalen the entire movie. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Whalen. Yeah, he's like Quaylen. I'm like, what? His name's Quaylen. <laughs> to be fair, Don't neither name up. is very good, especially for like a no. villain. It needs to. I be think a I went bit to Quaylen. I think yeah. I went to grade school with an Eric Whalen. I think. Well, Maybe. and that would be why. Yeah. Wow, way to probably, just call him out like very, that, Hallie. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm probably wrong. I don't remember people. <laughs> <laughs> just say, this feels pertinent to the podcast. Yeah, probably listening right now. It's going to be like, I a, hope so. Um, he just punched the air, just hearing his name. Like, just, like, yes. <laughs> well, he freeze framed. Yeah. I'm trying to get this straight. So, this is a, a British group of primarily British. <laughs> <laughs> is it British? Is are it? they all British? Well, the well, there's two of them are maybe no, the British. Ones I would not identify. No, as that guy's that guy's British. He was too. British. I thought yeah. he was Australian. No, he was still he was a different the uh, like guy? more like a Cockney the, accent, but yeah, was still or I Liverpool thought, oh, or something like that. I yeah, it was Australian. Yeah. Wow. So there's okay. him. There's yeah. Quaylen, Quaylen, who's John Lithgow doing his best English accent. I Ish. don't know. That's what it I is. I don't know. What it is I? I think it's just him doing a generic like. Mustache twirling bad guy accent. Lithgow's got a heightened way of speaking to begin with. Yeah, have you seen the fucking Progresso soup commercials where he's yes. like screaming at you <laughs> about the soup? I love those commercials. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. But he just speaks in a certain way. He's he's it's unique, <laughs> and you know it's significant. So yeah, it's very. Would you say it's theatrical? Yes, yeah, it is. Very that's, exactly. I think that's what yeah. he's going for in this. We're assigning an accent to it, but I think he's just being very it's, theatrical it was an, it bad was guy. him doing an English it's accent. A choice. But it, sure. I think it is more like the... You know, he doesn't do that in Dexter when he's a villain. He doesn't have that at all in Dexter. He's very he subdued yeah. and like uh, mild-mannered in, for the most true. part in Dexter. But I mean, uh, let's be let's be real. He's he's grown a lot as an actor since this movie. <laughs> this was honest. like, I mean, he'd been around forever. I mean, I remember him. It in feels old, like this guy's been around Palma forever, movies. no matter what. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was but in like I mean, Obsession just, way back in the seventies, sixties, or seventies. Um, he was just nominated for playing Winston Churchill in The Crown, and he oh, was yeah. phenomenal. Oh, and his yeah. accent was spot on. This was yeah. before yeah. Uh, Third Rock from the Sun, I believe. Yeah, great right? show, man. But That's this so was funny. after mm-hmm. his. Uh, it ages well too. Well, he was in, like, I think theatrically, like, big movies. He was in Ricochet with Denzel Washington, this, and uh, Raising Cane also. Ricochet. uh, But, I mean, in Raising Cane, he's a lead, right? Yeah. So, you know, he's second lead in in Ricochet and second lead in this, I suppose, right? Or he's Mm -hmm. the main antagonist, anyway. Sure, yeah. Yeah. The other, you know, Stallone, Lithgow on the bill, but... um, that's a match uh, I want to see. But he's doing an awful lot of, like Michaela said, mustache twirling. This mm-hmm. is arch villainy. It's very Shakespeare in the Park. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, but it really is. It is. is he an enjoyable actor? So. I, feel yeah. like, I feel like they shot him like from shoulders up because his hands just kept like, going up the whole time. <laughs> yeah. So they were just like, stop with your hands, man. Like, you're not on stage. It doesn't have to be so big. Yeah. He just keeps doing it. Yeah. So they yeah. just did shoulders up. So you're saying it's over the top. He's playing to the cheap seats. He's, Perfectly so. Oh, yeah. Even though the camera I, is like an inch from his nose. Knows he's playing to the guy in the yeah. back wall. Yeah. Of yes. He wants to I'm not saying it's a know. problem. I'm he, just saying he's yeah. doing it. He wants right. to reach every goddamn person in that theater. Was this yeah. the movie, if I remember the trailer, mm-hmm. there where the words came flying at you about how it was going to blow you right back out of the back of the theater or something like that? Oh. Yeah. The Adventure of the Summer. I yeah, it was something like that. The trailer. Uh, okay, I gotta check like this out. It's one of those yeah. with the words. Oh, like, nice. The Pop. high adventure of the summer will blow you out the back of the theater, something like that. Yeah. I love it. That's sure. great. <laughs> <laughs> I want it. Yeah. I'd watch this movie in 3D. Not a big fan of 3D, but I'd watch this Whoa. one in 3D. See, so I would, this right, it means movie would make me sick in 3D. Yeah, yeah. that's why, uh, the, exactly. why I'd want to watch it in 3D. Like, IMAX would be fun, no. too. I'd love the shit out of this in I, IMAX. I would, I'd like it in IMAX. Yeah. I mean, I would. Yeah, I would definitely go see it. Not 3D, but IMAX, yeah, for sure. Well, the movie, the other big stunt sequence that starts out the movie, we need to talk about because oh, it's a very the, significant the opening of yeah. the movie that was parodied in uh, the amazing movie, Ace Ventura, Ventura what Nature Two? Calls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Can't forget that. I didn't. God knows I didn't. Why didn't I watch that recently? Ace Ventura 2. Why did you? Because you why secretly you? laugh at it. Don't say you know what you do. No, I'm, uh, it was you on. Do. I was just like, I'm going to watch this for a minute. What the fuck? I don't know. It was on, it was on something. That's I was what like, happens watch Ace Ventura 2 on the while. weekends. Is your it is. It was a weekend you movie. You see something, you sit down, yeah. and next thing you know, the movie's yeah. over. So, And you're right. lying if you say you didn't laugh at it, because I know yeah. you did. Well, this is the movie <laughs> that I sit down on the weekend. I'm just like, oh, Cliffhanger's on. I'm going to watch this. Yes. It is a perennial favorite on the 
channel. TNT. Is it, is it TNT? And is HBO it? loves the shit out of this yeah. movie too. Probably <laughs> movies. Yeah. yeah. Ah, you're speaking. Oh. You're yeah. speaking my language I now. Say, Literally. I was gonna say, say it feels like a stars movie. This is. Is this? A, Can't say this, I've ever experienced movie? stars. Movie? I think as this, this is a movie. I think I've seen it on this movies. Is, this is one of my yeah. networks movies. Yeah. Um. So the the opening of this movie. Ah yes. Yeah. Ah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rooker, which we established, uh, Michael is, Rooker. In the movie, Michael Rooker. is legitimately perched on the top of a tiny little uh, he looks spire. Like it. Yes, he is. Because that the, is the him. helicopter flies yeah. in and flies around. Yes. And like they're they are him and this woman are like. So they, I mean, they up flew there. up and dropped them off at that top point. They had to have, right? I don't know. If they they, they do have that. no other reason to like. There's no other. They didn't show him climbing up. They didn't do anything else. They had to have just dropped them off there. You had know, to. The wind and all that stuff. Had I don't to. Think you can, had but to. maybe. You can't, like, yeah. I gotta think what they what they will allow their actors to do and everything. And so, the, you know, they had to have just dropped them off right there. Mm-hmm. That, that it feels like as much as they're gonna allow an actor to do insurance wise. Yeah. Because yeah. they're insuring everybody. Insurance must have been through the fucking roof for this movie. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, had to be. I, I know because that's what I was saying. You don't let Stallone just hang off. Of yeah, fucking, yeah, that guy yeah. alone. Yeah, he's is attached worth how much to some money. shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, but they show him climbing up. Like, there's a shot I think from behind them. Uh, you know, when they're on that little piece of rock, yeah. that you know, that he's climbing up the thing. But anyway, uh, Rooker and uh, his girlfriend are um, trapped. They're, yeah, they're, they've, they're, well, they've they, been injured. He's been injured, he's been injured at least yep. climbing up the tower, as yeah. they call in the movie. Yeah. Which is apparently a very hard um, uh, face to climb. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they've made it up there. He's injured. So they need some rescue. Mm, they the need some there. rescue. Some rescue. Yep. A little bit a little of rescue. Bit. And I guess this is what's establishing that like Stallone is this crack like mountain climber. He used to go yeah. base jumping with the, the, the two kids that come up to the mountain. Yeah. And all this other stuff. They may be Vietnam vets. That and, is also a Rooker is definitely a Vietnam point. vet. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Yeah, yep. but but that's that's their job. They're they're the mountain rescue. Yeah, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. in the Colorado State Rocky Mountain yes. National Park. Yes. yes, even though the movie's filmed, filmed in in Italy. Uh, in Italy. Yeah. Okay, uh, what's the mountain the, range? Uh, Cortina DMP P- zone. I think. Okay, yep. I'm going to take your word for that. Yep. All right. Yeah. So probably, Holly, <laughs> Holly will just make shit up I, <laughs> and be I like, want, "It's true." Sound authoritative, I but it sounds right. right. I do do that, but it I'm, sounds I'm right. Probably pronouncing it horribly wrong, and I apologize. But sounds fine. There you go. All right. So the idea is they're going to string a rope between uh, the tower and another wider piece of rock. They can't drop a ladder or, or uh, it's too oh, wide. A winch mm-hmm. or anything like that to yeah. mm-hmm. bring them up. And the wind the is wind, coming. Yeah, the wind Storms is what's on the way. preventing mm-hmm. them from doing that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they are going to, through a rope and pulley system, go across on this thing. So Rooker goes across. Yeah. And then uh, his girlfriend goes across. And as fate would have it, mm-hmm. uh, she is wearing off-brand uh, like <laughs> belt or whatever, safety di- harness. <laughs> some new balance, yeah. yeah. And the fucking thing snaps. The diamond harness. I really like the black the diamond harness. Dramatic, like, on, like... Yeah, cinching yeah. of it like there's close up like the slipping, yeah. s- shots of yeah like the slippage of yeah. the harness that's that was that's what convinces mm-hmm. that's, that's, you know it was yeah. good I yeah. loved I like it. it I was like this I like is it. Nice. so if you don't have that I'm just like well, the I editor think. is on point oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah Frank he got J. it Frank J. Urosti Urosti whatever your yeah. name is he had it yeah. yeah the tension in that like that's I was like I don't know if I can watch this movie no, that, that scene, scene I was like is really uncomfortable lots of anxiety it's yeah because I'm automatically going I don't want it but that's and that's the thing is the actress is going I don't want to die yeah and oh that's God, the thing yeah. and that's just like ah I don't want to die either mm-hmm. well this. it it's I mean it's expertly done because it it takes you up to the you know like she's gonna fall that's mm-hmm. horrible mm-hmm. you know then you got Stallone like well, I'm gonna go out there and get her that's because that's what you do but then you have Rooker saying like no it's not built for two people and you're like oh no <laughs> yeah. it's not built for two what are they gonna do yeah and Stallone's going out he's jimmying himself out there anyway yeah. and then you know she falls and so they're like you know they got the the whatever the forearm grip yeah. and then they slip to the, the hand grip to the, the gloves and yeah. everything and- oh yeah it's intense. It's intense. That actress was fucking selling it too. Mm-hmm. She was yeah. great. Yeah, she, oh, yeah. Yeah. she does not want to die. No. Yeah. I believe she This not is an extremely intense piece it of is. I, I was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, the, the, I agree with Michaela. The tension was hard to watch. I know. It was I was just, like, yeah. Yeah. I remember I mean that's the thing. You catch that on TV and you're riveted and mm-hmm. like the room goes silent until that's over. You're doing mm-hmm. something else and you're like, no, 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 hold on. 
Cliffhangers on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been late for <laughs> so many <laughs> meetings with the people because Cliffhanger was on. It's like, yeah, I'll be there in a minute. I'm like, oh, fuck, Cliffhanger's on. All right, I gotta watch this for a little bit. It's always that scene? Mo- <laughs> most of the time, you're just like, oh, somebody's climbing across. Like, oh, that's still on this Cliffhanger. It's and then just I sit down on. for a half mm-hmm. hour. And I've then... definitely stopped folding my laundry from for that scene before. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, for sure, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Riveting. Yes. It Riveting is. and intense. Well, because of this, and if she falls and dies, this causes a rift yeah. between uh, Stallone and Rooker, who were also in Guardians of the Galaxy too. They mm-hmm. were, yeah, mm-hmm. they were. Um, I was going to say, is Rooker on our hall on our wall now? Because he was in Slither. Slither. I feel this. like well, there was another one that he was in. Have you guys done Henry Portrait of a Suit? No. Nope. Oh, damn it. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, there has to be. We'll He's have, been we'll so have much to stuff. I think we're at two. We might be at two with. We'll Rooker. have to look it up. I feel like there's one more, but I can't think of it. We'll have to look it up. Mm, He's here. getting up there's there. There's a though. three three appearance buy-in mm-hmm. to the wall, mm-hmm. okay, which we're not keeping. Track I feel like of. there should be a three appearance and then a <laughs> vote, but because <laughs> there's just going some with, strange people right, on that wall, right? Because we're just going three appearance. They're on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so we we love Ray Harlan. Look at him. He's on the wall of fame. Yeah. Talk about it, but no, the wall is full at this point. Yeah. Lucinda Dickey's on the wall too. Yeah. Uh-huh. Does she yeah. deserve to be? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, of the Freak Show Hall of Famer. Um, so uh, Stallone then is uh, the uh, the broken man, right? He has, yeah, he, is. he has had a crisis of faith. If for nothing else that he wrote it that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, he's always the guy. He's the I don't do that anymore guy. Yeah. He's mm-hmm. always the I don't so do that anymore. So he's got to be brought back into the yeah. fold. Well, this is the the trope of uh, the action picture, right? That you have to have the reluctant reluctant hero, I suppose. Yeah, of Do course, you? It, it's a thing that it works. helps. Yeah, it works. And th- th- there always has to be personal stakes, though, for them. Have you noticed? So it's always be oh, like, yeah. but it's your wife, but it's your best friend. Yeah. Like, so and, you've you guys know, have been bestest forever. Yeah, it's always got to be like a personal stake to bring them back. Sure. But, yeah. yeah, unless it's I mean, you got to feel it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What are you talking about? It was his ex-wife. He yeah, had to save his ex-wife. Nothing else was after that point. <laughs> yeah. He could have just fucking walked away and be like, I'm not dealing with a fucking giant shark. Yeah. I digress. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> see our review on the Meg. Yeah, see the what? Meg yeah. review. <laughs> and we'll get For off For the that. same trope yeah. Of, yeah. in a movie we just watched. Yeah. 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 I really liked the part when... Uh, Okay, I I might not have missed the definition of the relationship, <laughs> but is is the the female lead in our movie is that Stallone's wife? Is that what they said? Girlfriend, girlfriend. Okay, girlfriend. Okay. Love interest. I was, I love was about interest. to say severe girlfriend. That sounds bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A serious girlfriend. Serious. Yeah, yeah that's what severe. I meant. Severe. Severe girlfriend. Serious girlfriend. <laughs> At that We're point. in a severe relationship. <laughs> yeah. a relationship right now. I know that sounds bad or too much, but when she said, "Why can't you just believe you did everything you could?" That's Stallone in every movie he's ever been in. He's he can never be, like no. just accept the fact I did everything I could. Never. And yeah. Shit still didn't work. That's out. why he's got to come back and try and do yeah. more. Stallone built a career on that character. Yes, he like did. that is his. Yeah. That is him. Yeah. Well, so it makes you wonder if that was our. Well, they had to be there. I mean, if the if the concept was you're going to have that scene at the beginning, unless he was, the, you know, like we need a scene at the beginning that's like gets people into the movie mm-hmm. that breaks the character, and then he has to build himself back up mm-hmm. after that. Like, yeah. okay, I mean, dramatically, that's what you do, mm-hmm. right? That that works. Yeah. Even though, I mean, like his relationship with his girlfriend, it's uh, Janine Turner from. Uh, Northern Exposure. I thought she looked so familiar and I could not figure it out. That's why I'm like, did she do like other stuff after, uh, was this, uh, like I'm blanking out. That name sounds familiar. Good question. I'm sure that she probably Mm -hmm. has a very long and illustrious career, but has never gone near the genre stuff that uh, I watch. Um, But they have, this is where I think Stone, the screenwriter, maybe fails a little bit because uh-huh. all that scene, the, the, the big dramatic moments, mm-hmm. like they're telling each other exactly what's on their mind. Yep. There is no subtext or anything. Yeah. It's just like, you, you know, left here because we all wanted to leave. Only you left here because yeah. you feel like I understand. She was in Monkey Shines, guys. What? So she Wait, might be what? close to getting on the wall of fame. <laughs> wow. Wait, what? Oh, who was she in Monkey Shine? She was um not not the monkey trainer, but I think his girlfriend. The one he the was having an affair movie? with. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, the doctor was having. Her- yeah, the one the doctor was having an affair with. Or his with. girlfriend in the seven. cabin. Well, yeah. Oh, I now I can go back and watch Monkey Shine. Yeah, God she was in it. Monkey Shine. That was like her. Magnolias. That's like her. Th- her like fourth build on IMDb is Monkey Shines. <laughs> oh. She was in the Monkey ambulance. 
Is that the movie I think it is? Is that the, was that a Larry Cohen movie? We were talking about this before? I think. Is it Robert Desart? No, it's not. It, no, it's an action comedy horror. It's gotta be. It's, that's Larry Cohen. Larry Cohen. Yeah, yeah, that's the movie. We saw the trailer for that yeah, one. Oh, yeah. shit. All right. That one might make its way to the freak show. <laughs> so that'll put her on the wall of fame then. That's, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick one that's gonna put her on the wall of fame. Cause fuck yeah. Well. The ambulance. Yeah, well. I'm down for that one. Um. Yeah, I don't know what Primal you're talking doubt. about. Oh, okay, so <laughs> Friday night just diving right Friday into the plot Friday. then. So yeah. the bad else? guys, their 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 airborne heist goes horribly wrong. Horribly wrong crashes. Three cases that total up to a million dollars. A hundred million. A hundred million. million dollars. Nobody right. does things for a million dollars in the nineties. Come That's on, right. Come million. on, Doctor Evil. Inflation. <laughs> Uh, they fall to the earth and are scattered throughout the mountain range. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so the bad guys yep. figure that in order to go get them, we need to recruit yeah. skilled mountain climbers. We're just going to take them high. We're going to point guns at them and yeah. have I- leverage and say, go fucking get those things. Hold the rescuers hostage and make them recover yeah. their cases. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Like you do. But they didn't count on one of them being <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. Goddamn right, Colin. They did not. Yeah. Uh, so, well, where do you go from here? There's a lot of movie to cover, but I'm like, what's the next significant thing that happens in this movie? The cat Stone kills the bad guy. I mean, no, no, there's, there's a lot. Because there's 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 this is like a two hour plus movie. There's a whole yeah. subplot involving these two kids that like to jump off mountains. Oh, and- yeah. What was the point of that? They added nothing to uh, this movie. Could yeah. you cut that out completely? Yes, yes, completely, yes. like twenty and minutes of yeah, that. Completely, you could mm-hmm. get rid of them. Because okay. there's a conversation at the beginning of the movie that doesn't really help them. I yeah. mean, maybe it gives a tiny bit of backstory to Stallone's character, Dude. but that's about it. No, that's that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's the, the, that's the Stallone trying to have a sense of humor. That's I think that's work. oh yeah, because yeah, he does think he's he, funny yep, like that. He does, he does, and he doesn't get it. Yeah, and maybe giving a little more. Credibility to your bad guys because they're just killing innocent people as you get, mm-hmm. you get Frank and then those. But you get that with Frank. That's that. what I'm saying. You get that right, with Frank. Right. You so should like, only need yeah. that with Frank. So you, yeah. you don't necessarily need it with the guys. Right. Yeah. So yeah, you could probably cut them out. You I mean, definitely I don't, cut them out. It. Yeah. I suppose it opens the movie up to say that there's other people on this range, this you know mountain range. Right. It's not an isolated between just these characters. But other we people kind of get run. that because like the bad guys even to attract the uh, the mountain climbers pretend to be trapped. Uh, you know, like we were climbing and something happened, and we, you know, we need Billy insulin. needs insulin. Yeah, so you kind of—I mean—they establish that kind of. At least I got the idea that's like, yeah, yeah, people go up here and go right. Mountain this climbing. happens. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know what the point of the two uh, stoner dudes yeah. was either. I just yep. told you, not needed. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, not that's exactly needed. what it was. So without them, then yeah. our next character is so we got the cadre of bad guys, we got the two good guys, and then uh, Janine Turner and Frank, the uh, the helicopter pilot, mm-hmm. who's yep. like the old dude from the Waltons, and they are uh, the only people left in this movie. Well, no, right. that's not true because the cast keeps getting fucking bigger. There's the FBI guys, Secret Service. Uh, this, FBI. Well, 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 no, the FBI come in because they're technically not FBI. Oh, that's right. The FBI are the two guys that come in, and the mm-hmm. one guy from the beginning. Uh, what do we call him? Traxler from fucking Terminator makes it. Yeah, Lieutenant Traxler. His name was Lieutenant Walt- Traxler. Walter Wright. Paul oh, Winfield right. is the. Oh, Paul actor. Winfield, Wright, yes. huh? Yeah. Now Walter White. Walter, Walter Wright. Walter Wright. Wow. Paul Winfield. Uh, you'd know him from such thing as Terminator, Star Trek II: mm-hmm. The Wrath of Khan. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. One of the greatest films ever. I mean, and uh, yeah, you like Star Trek. Yeah, yeah I know. You know. <laughs> Especially that movie. Um. So they're hunting for Quaylen. Let me ask you this. I'm going to put this question mm. to the group. So Travers, I know his name is Travers, yes. the bad uh, Secret Service or whatever, Treasury agent. Yeah, he's because a Treasury agent. Because John Lithgow keeps saying, shut up, Travers. Travers. <laughs> which, always, which always sounded like Travis. It did. Yeah, it did throughout it did. the movie. Shut up, Travis. Yeah, because he's British. Because I mean, he's British, comes out. Yeah. apparently, yes. Um, why didn't Travers... Kill John Lithgow because it's pain- painfully obvious to Travers that John Lithgow is going to kill him at yeah. some point. Like, he doesn't trust this guy at all. Yeah. Not He's at all. like, I'm going to come over to the plane before I send over the 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 uh, suitcases of money. I I'm going to do it for me. Yeah, I'm not going to give you the code to the fucking like crazy GPS thing that we've got because I know you're going to kill me as soon as you have your hands on the money. Right. Because the dude has killed everyone else associated with right. this to have it for himself. 
there's got to be an opportunity for him to win over the crew in order for him to kill John Lithgow. I was going to say, he probably thinks that the crew is going to turn on him if he right. turns on John Lithgow. If he can find a way to convince the crew to follow him if he should kill John Lithgow, then he will do it. But I don't think there's an opportunity for him to do that in this movie. Mm-hmm. I agree Because I with think that. that if he kills John Lithgow, everyone else left is pretty much going to kill him, and then they could keep taking uh, Rooker and everything and go find the money and get the hell out of there, I guess. But I think that's it. He doesn't have a defined opportunity to get rid of Lithgow and convince the rest of the crew not to kill him. Mm-hmm. Well, the idea is he's a trained agent. He right, for is 20 years. Familiar with, right, he's familiar with firearms. He apparently can tell a pilot his business, and he knows something about rock climbing because he said something to the to Rooker, I think, at some point. They have Rooker hostage with them. There's two other guys, I think, right? There's the guy who, the actor, his name is Leon. Leon, cool yes. Cool runnings, <clears throat> yeah. Is he in Cool Runnings? Yeah, he's oh. the main guy in Cool Runnings. I haven't watched Cool Runnings in a long time. Feel was that before? Good. That was before this. I think so. I think okay. everything. Yeah. There you go. I think yeah. Cool Runnings is like Cool Runnings was before. Everything. You were in this yeah. indie, and now you get to be in a major Hollywood motion picture with Sylvester Stallone. Feel the rhythm. Yeah. Feel the rhyme. And then there's uh, Lithgow's girlfriend yes. slash yeah. pilot. Moira, the, Moira from Hook. Yeah. Right, the wife from Hook, yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there it is. Exactly. Oh, the wife right. from Hook, yep. yes. Moira. Here, her name is Crystal? No, yeah, is that I right? Think, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. So, that sounds I right. I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. Um, sacrifice. Yeah, mm-hmm. Lithgow is ready to sacrifice at a moment's notice, but you're not going to get anywhere without a pilot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, a little more mustache twice. Yeah. That was a lot. You like have to it. do the motion like while it. you're saying yeah. it. That's what makes it come out. Yes. Now yeah. there's only one pilot. <laughs> and uh, and the, the, the yeah. other yeah. English yeah. guy who apparently is a massive soccer fan. I'm yep. sorry, football fan. Which, football. Wh- why? What place does that have in this movie? So he can have commentary while he's kicking the shit out of Rooker? Was, not, because yeah, he has no character. No yeah, There's no yeah, character yeah. there. He's just goon. Mm-hmm. But we find out his name is actually Decatur. What's his name? Delaney? De- De- I don't think either of those are right. I have no idea. I didn't know he had a He name. does get a name <laughs> <laughs> right before yeah. he dies. Yeah. 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 So the idea that yeah, look it up, it's it's Travers something. can't, you're saying Travers can't figure out a way, even though he's a skilled agent with right. a gun, to kill these other two dudes and then kill... Uh, well, he could probably kill them, but he's got to convince anybody who's left to be on his side. And no, I, the Del- idea is you kill everyone and then you hoof Delmar. it down the mountain. Delmar! Delmar! Yeah, there you go. It. And you hoof it down the mountain with uh, three, you know, gigantic cases full of money. Well, there's, um, by the time he's got the opportunity, there's probably only one left. Yeah. I would say. Mm. Okay, I was just kind of curious. I actually think I have an answer to this. Oh. I think uh, the whole setup that, like, is exposition dump is that um, Quaylen yep. it has some kind of connections in the international smuggling they ring. They say that, that in like, sure. yes. Sure. Right, so he's, he's the, the only, only one who connections can take to be able that to take money that money and, and do something with it. Yes. And launder. There is that, yes. So Otherwise, we got to keep him alive. Right. Mm. Though if you just stole that money, it's uncirculated bills and they have to, like, transfer it in order for it to be you know worth anything but i'm pretty sure if you just stole all that money and went to like <laughs> went to a gas station and used it i'm pretty sure you'd be all right right yeah <laughs> yeah because from my retail experience the only thing we're going to do is the pen test and so as long right. as it passes that then it's which legit. i think it which would, would yeah no it would it's because uncirculated. it's it just yeah. hasn't it's been still manufactured the same way right. so yeah it would pass but it's that. used i think they explained earlier it's used in international transfers and all that stuff. So when big m- amounts of money have to be transferred between like countries at this point, I think this is the money they use. Oh wow! And I do think they that's... still have like the serial numbers? On yeah, them? I, I think uh, everything's normal. I think it's just in high bill amounts, and there's a large amount of it. And hmm. so when you have to transfer like a hundred million dollars between two countries, this is the money you use. That is what they explained wow, earlier on in the movie. Hmm. 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 Made sp- I'm not sure that like we're right on that, but okay. I think it is. I will they take they that said as... that before, like, okay. in what they're talking about. I think this I'm is willing to accept to that for this movie. I think you should mm-hmm. be. Okay. So a lot of daring do happens because ah, daring do. Daring do. Yeah, we're back in the daring like Errol do. Flynn, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. Or Batman. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Batman did a lot of daring he, there do. There was a lot of daring do because in Batman. If you think of daring do, you think of uh like uh, cables that you're shooting off and, right. and, and climbing, like climbing up the shit. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That happens. There's a swinging yeah. from stuff. 
grappling. Darren do. Lots yeah. of grappling. grappling. Thank grappling. you. Grappling. Yes. That's what Bravo. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of grappling. <laughs> uh, Stallone uh, gets away from the kidnappers, reunites with Janine Turner, and yep. together the two of them go through styrofoam caves and climbing yes. up what I think are probably <laughs> like sculpted caves, rocks right. at a 45 degree angle as the camera's down at the bottom right. of the thing mm-hmm. uh, in order to recover these three ki- uh, the cases before the bad guys do. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to be one step ahead. Yeah, mm-hmm. which they are because he's Sylvester Stallone. Right. Sure. Is Stallone kind of a passive hero in this movie? Yeah, because there are long stretches of this movie that he is not in, which shocked me. Like, considering how his involvement in movies and how he writes them and how he's kind of really in control, there are serious stretches of this movie where you do not see him, and mm-hmm. I could not believe that. I don't think any other Stallone movie is like that. Yeah, there's several moments that you're like, this is this is Rooker's moment. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Maybe several that's, times. Maybe that's yeah. Rennie Harlan shining through. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. And, my, well, and I and maybe maybe that's the first time He's that's the ever been person. said about Rennie Harlan. <laughs> <laughs> but quick, what's Rennie Harlan's best movie? This movie. It's Deep gotta be this Deep movie. Lucy. No, it's no. It's, Wait, that's two. No, Holly. it's gotta be as far as full on filmmaking, <laughs> front to back, pulled it off. Movie, it's gotta be this movie. Mikhail says I mean, Deep Blue Sea. Deep Blue sea. Yeah. I mean, Ali says, I'm, I'm a big fan of Deep Blue Sea, but I agree with Sean. I think it's one. like yeah, I'm going with good. Die Hard too. So I haven't watched Die Hard 2 in fucking forever. I gotta watch it again. But is Rennie Harlan the one person that can like rein in Stallone? Is he like the one person that can like be? That can... No, no, no. <laughs> Stallone's a gigantic movie star so at this point. Yeah, but so why is he missing from so many movie. scenes of this movie then? Like, yeah, there are so many stretches without him at all where we cut away what, from him. Ben- completely. Beneficial to the movie. Yeah, yeah. Because it gives. I'm you know, also. A I'm, more I'm just surprised. It characters. seemed like there was a lot of scenes where where things were happening to Stallone. St- to Stallone and he would survive them mm. but it wasn't necessarily that he was the uh, you know motivating factor for things happening does mm. this make sense? He's a yeah. very passive character honestly yeah. in this movie I felt like which is weird for a Stallone movie mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. it's like he's not actually instigating the action no it's, it's all doing he's, most of he's it. dealing right. with shit that's happening to him yeah, yeah. Except for that one moment when he turns into Lincoln Hawks from over the top. <laughs> when they make does. him take his jacket off and he's got the same white t-shirt on and the hat. And then he turns the hat I around. I imagine that's exactly what I he was just, thinking. Turns the that's hat when he around. turns into a machine. I just love how many times in this movie about mountain climbing and the freezing cold that he lost his shirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it's just off the muscles. Yeah. Like even, that's fantastic. He's juicing the, hard, Holly. They, he's oh, got to show it off. He really that. is. But that's. I think that's the the mindset of 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 actors who are in these roles and who are of this physicality. Because even mm-hmm. you get to movies like um, uh, like uh, Chris Hemsworth and Thor and everything. Like they build themselves up to do these parts. And yeah. I've heard him talk to um his directors and everything. It's just like, well, should we have your shirt off for this? And it's like, yeah, I fucking did all this work to be this way for See, it. I, you I heard take the opposite my- on that. He was the one that was like, I don't need my shirt off. And Taika Waititi was like, no, we need it off. He was like, I should have it on. He's like, no, 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 it's coming off. I think, well, that's it's for like off. the third Thor movie. I'm yeah. well, Earlier on, I think it's like, yeah, I did all this work. You should probably yeah. show me without a shirt at this point. Probably. <laughs> Yeah, because the first Thor movie, I think, like has He's the most yeah. It's like look, he, it's like, also the most jacked waiting. in those movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's really jacked. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that's what you're getting He's out of jacked. you know, like uh, Stallone has a uh, very veiny veins. muscles. I think it was said during the movie his veins have muscles. Yeah, 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 yeah I would agree. The yeah, veins yeah. flex themselves; they could probably break Which, through. Like, like if you tied him up with a bunch of chains, he would just flex his veins, and he'd be able to snap out of it. I yeah. think so. It feels. Yeah. Appropriate for this movie. It does. Which, which <laughs> like bodybuilders. I'm surprised that scene didn't happen. Before competitions, bodybuilders would dehydrate themselves so that the veins like are more visible. Yeah. That's, so like, there's only oh. two ways you get visible veins: is either de- dehydrating yourself or juicing. And like, so Jesus. I mean, take your pick of what. Yeah. It could be well, both. I mean, <laughs> Stallone's not going to get in trouble for juicing. No. Like he's an actor. He's yeah. going to juice. Yeah, he all got he busted once. He had a HGH, trainer yeah. in the credits. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you can have a trainer, a trainer and juice. You yeah. do both. Well, well, yeah, that's they fine. Always sure. have a trainer. I'm not going to fault trainer. a fucking actor for juicing. It's like, yeah, get jacked for this shit. Go mm-hmm. ahead. No, I'm, I, I don't. I don't think they should. 
I mean, I don't want them. I don't <laughs> want them to destroy your body. I, I, That's no, not okay. I don't want them to. Okay. They don't need to for me. Okay. If they make that decision on their own, I'm just like, I'm not going to tell you, all right, fine. We know for a fact he has done do, because he has been busted with HGH. Go for it. So yeah. we know he does do that. You don't that. need to do it for me, yeah. is what I'm saying. It's like, I don't need you to. But if you're a patron of the movie, then they are doing it for you. Yeah. So you're mm-hmm. perpetuating right. that. Because well, it looks awesome. That guy is sure. fucking jacked. Yeah, no, he is yeah. ripped. <laughs> and he's like, what, like 43 years old at this point, right? I think so. That's what I was trying to figure wow. out. I'm like, oh, because yeah, I, I think I looked up when we did Demolition Man <laughs> and he was 43 and I was like, holy oh shit, he does not look 43 years old. Uh-huh. A little bit of hair dye goes a long way. <laughs> yeah, I need to Man. go to the fucking gym more often. Well, yeah. God damn, it's still on. Have you, have you seen him the... now? He's like 70 whatever and still looks yeah. incredible. Well, yeah, he's still. Well, I mean, he's in that old man jacked shape. Yeah, yeah, but Still, seeing, are we gonna look like that when we're seventy? Let's be no, real. No. Like, I think, I I, think he's still Michaela. I now. want you to look that like that I, when you're seventy. I, that's Please. my goal. That's my goal. Now? I that think he's great. still juicing. It looks I would, like it. I would yeah. think so. I would say so. Not to judge uh, Stallone, but he's I, he's on, got he's that gotta, microwave look. He's got it right. <laughs> yeah, he, like he, yeah, he got figures. cooked a little too long. He's a little melty at this point. Yeah, yeah, a little too much. Yeah. Stallone. I see a lot of uh, Stallone and Schwarzenegger pictures together. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, I'm just yeah. like, yeah. They look Their like faces are really puffy too. Like, like a lot of like work has been done on the face because they have very no necks puffy. anymore. Yeah. All right. So this all leads to like fucking Ric Flair at this point. Are there any? I know there's uh, there's avalanches mm-hmm. and there's bats that uh, fly around, and eventually there is a uh, a helicopter sequence at the end where yes. you know all the bad guys end up getting killed off, and the only people left are Stallone and and Quaylen. Yes, and uh, he's in a he- Quaylen Jennings. Quaylen Quaylen Jennings. <laughs> Quaylen Jennings. He's in a helicopter. <laughs> Stallone's on the ground on the peak of a mountain. He does not it's shoot at the helicopter the with an explosive tipped arrow. I was very disappointed, but I, I did know. get to see that. I know. Um, There's been set up for that in movies before, and we've always been disappointed. I'm looking at you, Yor. <laughs> your flaming arrows that did nothing. I mean, yeah, no. Can I mean? I, I don't know if you're getting towards the end there, but there's there's a few moments in this movie I think need to be highlighted, specifically the cave death. With the oh, stalactite, yeah, killed by stalactite. Uh, yeah. That was fantastic. Stalag- Wait, is, is this stalagmite? Is the top or stalactite? Is the top? I don't. That's remember. what I'm wondering because I didn't know. God during damn it! Hold someone's on. gonna correct us. I don't, I don't remember which one it is. The hanging one. Yeah, the one that's like, coming down from there's the a different right. name yeah. for the ceiling yeah, one than for the like, one. It's still like might or still like might. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't know. Don't, don't, don't correct this, guys. We're going to look it up. Please. Yeah. All right, stalagmite is rising from the floor. Damn it's still like tight. Damn it. It's still like tight. All right, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to look it up to make sure. Leon meets his unfortunate yes. demise because he taunts Stallone. He just can't shoot the guy. Where's no, the money? he's going to give a lengthy yeah. speech. I burned it. It's stalactite. Yeah. It's from the roof. Okay. It's stalactite death. Tight from the top. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Tight from the top. <laughs> yeah. But they all give these long speeches because this is all their characters really have to do you other got than a monologue. stand around looking. Uh, yeah, you got a monologue. Yeah, to, this is the 90s, your, Colin. This is where they invented the monologue. That's what you do. <laughs> But yeah, Stallone. But this is the thing I'm saying. Like I was saying, he's you know as a passive uh, action hero, he's not doing anything in this scene except getting the shit kicked out of him. Yeah. This is supposed to be like every man Stallone, right? Mm-hmm. This isn't superstar Stallone, yeah. even though he's got or super you know action man of yeah. action. He's know. not John a Rambo. Can, a guy who can <clears throat> climb a mountain on his own doesn't feel like every man. But I feel like that's I don't, the only let, thing he's good at. Yeah, I don't that's identify the only with thing. Stallone. He's in this not movie. like a survival. He's not Rambo in this movie. No, he's no, no. survival. He can't. Like, yes. look at the land and go, like, I need to eat that, and I got to kill this, and I got to cut this, and I have it, you know. That's this a is great, the only thing I he can that. do is climb. That's yeah. it. I got to eat that. <laughs> and then he just goes well, and eats it. I think maybe he may catch and eat rabbits based on this movie, because apparently he's I don't think he fast enough to within a 12 hour period. I, I bet. Most it's fast unbelievable to, part. But he is fast enough to catch a rabbit, apparently, which yeah. is unbelievable mm-hmm. as far as rabbit. I'm concerned. We don't see this happen, but no. he straps one of the trackers yes. from the cases onto a rabbit. Yes. Implying that he's done this before. He's going, mm-hmm. whoosh, and he can just, like, snatch a rabbit. Yeah. So he eats them. I wish I could have seen that scene. Sure. I would love to see the scene where he's like, like I imagine he like extends his hand out, like, all gentle and nice, and then like the rabbit just kind of like, it comes up to him, and then he just grabs it real quick, like... 
Why were we mm-hmm. deprived that scene? <laughs> because he is it's like because it's physically you know, the reassuring like story in this movie. <laughs> I feel they do like a yeah. little puppet, like Jim Henson puppet rabbit. Like, yeah, like, yeah it fucking up looks to like him. the thing from Caddyshack. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> There's literally someone under the ground, yeah. like moving yeah. along. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, beyond the cave death, where uh, Leon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, gets. Sloan lifts him over his head like a fucking pro wrestler and shoves him up onto the spike mm-hmm. and blood drips down onto him and it's yeah. amazing. I love that. Because you gotta have a good finish if you yes. get the, spend the whole scene getting the shit kicked finishing out of you. Move. Finishing move. Yes. Yeah. Finish him. This yeah. is this is after uh Colin uh declared at some point that this was a PG movie. For whatever because reason. there should have been swearing earlier on. Right, there, there are situations yes, where it feels was, natural to swear. And yeah, we did but not there get was it. A, there was one fucking scene where there should have been swearing, and you completely disregard the fact <laughs> that three men just got shot in the head, and they showed it. Uh, Booker was holding had, Stallone over PG a cliff 13. and didn't swear. I don't yeah. care. They had already said fuck a couple times. Okay, I missed it then. Yeah. But once there was like fuck you, you motherfucker, it's like okay, it's a rated R. It's like oh, we hit two. Are we gonna hit one more? Rated yeah. R. You've moved into R rated. <laughs> By the way. This is a rated R podcast. In case yes. you didn't know, sorry, do we have the explicit label on? We do. ITunes? Fuck yeah, we do. Right. <laughs> oh, I yep. love it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was for some reason I was looking up the podcast today, and all I saw was a bunch of red E's going up the episode. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's us. Yeah. Rated R, that's explicit. That's rated E. True. If for we everyone. didn't, I'd be disappointed. Yeah, I was going to say we, we got to yeah. go there. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you're not giving your audience your all. That's true. But, uh, I'd be curious to see if we could go one episode with ah, without no, swearing. No, no, no. I would not want we to. We probably should have done that on like the Home Alone or the Princess Bride. <laughs> so, nah. I, no, we should have cursed more on oh, those episodes. Man. I'm fucking glad I wasn't here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh able boy. To episode. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, never fear, folks. At yeah. the end of the movie, that uh, uh, the, the good maybe guys the survive. Part. Is it? Well, it's a great part. What happens? It's uh, it's also it's it's uh ripped off for the newest Mission Impossible movie, I feel, because mm-hmm. we're we're cliffside having a fight with helicopters hanging over cliffs mm-hmm. and all that stuff in the new Mission Impossible. Just like mm-hmm. Superman in the movie. It was hanging off a building. It's that's, on the side. Okay, fine. That's Keep going. Gone. No, no, stop <laughs> that. No, this is no this no, this is a direct correlation to cliffside cliff. helicopters yep. is what I'm talking it's about. Hanging off of a cliff. Yes. Hence the title. Yes. You're on the edge of your seat because it's edge of my seat, edge uh, of the cliff, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. hanging there, waiting for the resolution yeah. of this movie. But we end up on the edge of a cliff with our good guy and our bad guy mm-hmm. as the helicopter that John Lithgow was piloting yeah. has been caught next to a ladder that was hanging on the side of this cliff yep. and pulled to the side and crashed on the side. And the final fight happens on a helicopter lodged on the side of a cliff. Yep, the both guys are. On this, on the dangling, on the top slash bottom, and the more that they like wrestle with each other, the more it like shakes it loose from the cliff. So like, which uh, yes, which is what obviously so, which is what Mm -hmm. you need it to be. Like this is what has to Mm -hmm. happen. Mm -hmm. And then your psycho's like, I'm not afraid of dying, Walker. Walker, there needs to be. Yeah, we should have done more Walker in person. Like Walker, Walker, he does a lot. He does that a lot. In the Gabe, show. Gabe Walker. Anytime they called Stallone by his character name, I was jarred by it because I was like, "What? No, that doesn't seem right." Like every time I was right, like, when Gabe they, yeah. Walker, right, really? or when they label each other and they're like Tucker and Walker, it's like, "All right, Walker, Tucker." Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, we did too much here. Yeah. Yeah. But there's that Beautiful. climactic fight on the fuck on, on the top of a fucking helicopter on the mm-hmm. side of a mountain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. by the it ladder. doesn't get yeah. more epic than that. It, Colin, sarcastic or not, <laughs> it does not <laughs> for this movie because that's what I want on a movie called Cliffhanger. Mm-hmm. When you're doing all this shit, you want I want to end. I want to fight on a cliff. I want motherfuckers hanging off yes. of a cliff. Yes, fighting. That's yep. what I want. Yes, and you know well, what? You get it. That's what I got. And you know, he fucking beats him and puts him in the helicopter. <laughs> and you know what he said? He said, keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Yeah, I didn't get that. It was it's too, a ride. Yeah. It's too he late says for it those at the beginning. lines. They, like, they don't, but like, they. this should have been like Cobra in the sense that those lines should have been throughout. And they were not. And I was disappointed he, well, by that. I like that he sets it up at the yeah. beginning and then pays it off at the end. Yeah, but like, why was that? Because it paid off or repeated. Rooker did have the one earlier with the guy that wouldn't shut the fuck up about soccer. 
And he he's about to kick him Season, off. Season's over. Season's over. Kicks him off. They, yeah. so they Season's did over, have I think, shotgun last. Yeah. Oh, shotgun. Thank yeah. you. Shotgun. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. I said quietly. They had a couple lines sprinkled. Not enough. This, it is, Not it enough. does feel like it's sprinkled. Yeah, it's you sprinkled. You are correct. It's sprinkled. It's sprinkled. Yeah. But I do like the keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. And then the, like the fall th- of the which helicopter. Which was like the third fucking explosion in this movie, by the way. Which... Is I know because you yeah. have to have a fireball in a movie that's about um, cliff uh, if you're, climbing. If you're Rennie Harlan, if you're big bad, <laughs> well, if your big bad is gonna die, he's gotta die in a fireball. Yeah, yeah. and he does. He John Lithgow bloodied, dies screaming, which is what you want your bad guy to yes. do at the bottom of a cliff. And then it's like credits. I'm, what do you got to really what, what, like, what do you got to say after that? Well, what you, you got to find out like I don't know like uh, cuz I mean I guess I was invested in the drama of like you know like, he left they made it to the top are of, they going to you know get he, back he, together he after up. What's the relationship yeah. between him and Rooker cuz they were best friends and They seemed okay at the end. Fine. They seemed fine. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be fine. They seemed fine. <laughs> They'll be okay. Yeah. yeah. They just beat John Lithgow. That's right. That's the that fucking need. FBI couldn't do it, but they did it. I think no, they even the FBI actually, they basically like give the FBI five that steps on the radio the entire time. Mm-hmm. If you're looking for Quaylen, we threw him off the fucking edge of the cliff, and you find him at the bottom of the yeah. See, four thousand <laughs> feet south of here. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh-huh. which is a good line. Good line. Yeah, look for. I know because Stallone, he's, he has zingers with his <laughs> zingers. Not yeah. enough. Not enough. <laughs> oh, see, movie. we got some. See, Cobra was wall to wall zingers. I need that level. <laughs> Well, all right, listener. I think so. Are we at the edge? I think so. We're at the edge. <laughs> are, 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 are we at the cliff's edge? <laughs> Hang on. See what we're going to do after this? Yep. Uh, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. I want you to stick with this because you are coming Please. into the most exciting moment or time. I don't agree with this. Period. Of the podcast. You don't think it's the most the exciting? fans like I don't it a lot. They do, do the wrap ups. Yeah, I, I was I've had say, a couple people say they love wrap ups the most. I know because well, we're right. keeping you yeah. on pins and needles. You don't know how we're going to go on this. That's this is what's going to happen. I was going to say, say we're, I was say we're coming to my favorite part, which is fucking mailbag. Mailbags. Don't mailbag get. is. I love that part. Mailbag's it's my late. favorite part. I'm personally a fan of the entire hour discussion before we get to wrap up. Well, well yeah. but that's just me. Yeah. Everybody yeah. has their yeah. favorite bit. So we're going to do some. True. We're going to answer some of your mail, and then we are going to uh, go around the table and tell you what we thought of Cliffhanger and whether we'd recommend it. But first of all, housekeeping, Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Thank you, Igor. He's looking especially ripped today. Yeah, he did some little workout. He's definitely juicing. I think it's the only. I think it's the only way he stays together (laughs) as a as a as a. I'm not going to say a person organism. Right. Yeah. Exactly. (laughs) He's got the monster growth hormone. Not otherwise. Yeah. MGH, yeah. Yeah, you know that MGH. Bravo to all of you. I agree. Bravo. All right, well, uh, so, oh, yeah, how can people Mm. get a hold of us uh, on Facebook? Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. What about uh, on Twitter? At Sat Freak Show. By email? Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or on Instagram at, uh, sorry, Saturday Night Freak Show. That's our handle. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Sure is. It's the only uh, thing we're known one. by. Um, so, Boken, B-O-K-E-N. Boken? Sure. Boken? Boken? Boken Boy sure. 40 Boken. says, I just started listening to the podcast a couple weeks ago, and it has quickly become one of my favorite B-movie review guides. Yay. Awesome job, guys. Oh, thanks. thanks. Thank you. Boken. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. We love you. About uh, Cliffhanger, Sean Roger writes in, mm. and he says, I think it's a really great flick. Stallone isn't the best actor, but you have some fantastic shots of an amazing location. The helicopter shots that open the film, for one. You've got John Lithgow, Michael Rooker, and Northern Exposure's Janine Turner. Uh, a man talking soccer as he soccer as he kicks the shit out of someone, and I don't think anyone forgets the scene where Gabe drops Hal's misses. That Hal's the name mm-hmm. of Rooker's character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I still remember the sick feeling in my gut the first time I saw it. Made yeah. even yeah. more memorable by the fact that Frank is laughing his ass off at the situation. 
Was he? He has a look. I think he's supposed to be concerned. This is the guy from the Waltons, right? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Frank. He's supposed to look, but if you look at his face, it's like, it could be laughter. Uh, it's mm-hmm. not. Uh, Rennie Harlan should be proud of this one. It's one of his better ones, that's for sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, Chris Keenan writes in and says, anytime we can get John Lithgow playing a villain is a good time. Yes. His run as the Trinity Killer in Dexter is by far one of the greatest villains in television history, Love in it. my opinion. Love it. And let us not forget. What? It is the best season of Dexter. It is the best season of Dexter. It was all downhill after that. There you go. Yeah, it was. He says, and let us not forget (laughs) Buckaroo Banzai. Let us not forget. Mm -hmm. There you go. Let us. Uh, Grant Parrish writes in and says, I know I saw this in theaters. I know. (laughs) I started that with, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. know." I can't remember what we asked on Facebook, but I'm sure that's yep. where he's responding. And he said, I know I saw this in the, oh, I know I saw this in theaters. Mm. He's re- yeah. Ah, I yeah. know I've seen it on TV <laughs> The since. wrong and fastest on the wrong right. level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me take it from the top. I'm sorry, Chris. I'm going to do your, your words justice. Why well, I got to do them dirty like that, Colin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know I saw this in theaters. I know I've seen it on TV once or since. I honestly can't remember anything about this movie. Damn. I feel I would just confuse it with Vertical Limit. I understand that problem. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. As someone who sure. has a hard time remembering movies, like sure. after two years after I've seen them, I get uh, it. If, well, you had, right. if you hadn't I, yeah. seen either I don't one have that in a problem, long time, but yeah, I got like a two-year window, I, I and then I forget. It. Yeah, it, you know? I get it, but I, if you watched, I would never do that. But no, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. Well, I would about, never confuse uh, it, but I get it. Yeah. About our movie, our last week's episode. I think it was last week. What we know? Last week was Village of the Damned. So about ten to midnight. Gary Norris. Former uh, uh, freak shower Hi, says, uh, "Good choice. One of my favorite Bronson movies." Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it, was it, was fun. Good. it was fun. It was good. Uh, Mike Welch writes in, writes in and says, "It's one in a line of weird Charles Bronson movies of the '80s." Yeah. Yes, yeah. weird is a good word. For that it. is it. <laughs> and geeking poetic writes in and says, "Bronson rules." He does. That's all you need to say. All right. Uh, about Shocking Dark. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Jesus. Oh. Jesus. Now, I apologize, Spooky Guy. Apparently, I should be checking our YouTube comments more often, but oh, Spooky Jesus. Guy says... YouTube comments, wow. Oh, okay. my God. Oh, yeah, we're this all over the bad. place. We're taking over your really world. Bad. bad, late, whatever. <laughs> Spooky Guy says, Shocking Dark by Claudio Fragrasso of yes. Troll 2 and Zombie 4 and Bruno Mattei yes. of Cruel Jaws and Robo War. Ah, Cruel Jaws. Is an insane... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Colin. Yeah, Sean's Colin. like, oh yeah, oh yeah, cool. Robo <laughs> and Robo War. Um, anyway, it's an insane mess filled with shit and unoriginality that entertains me for its runtime. Glad you guys covered this. I first saw Shocking Dark in 2011, so I knew about this hidden quote unquote gem quote for unquote. a while. Quote unquote gem. Yeah, <laughs> right. it's not. Jesus. It is quote unquote. Colin, this just in from Instagram. Oh no. Ryan Handsome Jansen on Cliffhanger. On Cliffhanger says, awesome pick, guys. Oh, thanks. thanks. Well, there you go. Thank you. Thank Thank you you for writing. Thanks, Holly. You. What's his name? Ryan (laughs) Handsome. Thanks, thanks, Ryan Handsome Jansen. Thank you, Handsome. (laughs) (laughs) Appreciate it. Was that a uh, uh, self-named? I, I, say, prob- I think so. He's doing one of these in his picture. Ah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Holly, well, are you sure it's not it. one of your like alt accounts to just be like clipping? It's a great pick. Is this a guy who gave you the message and <laughs> yeah. is just like, I have messages for everybody, but I'm gonna it give it to you, Holly. It is on the Saturday Night Freak okay. Show oh, page. Oh, there thank we go. you very it's much. Official. All right. Thank you very much. Well, thank you all for writing in. Thank you very much. Yes, we appreciate Always it. I love you highlight. all. Yeah, very but my favorite. I'm gonna read your comments later and cry. Yeah. You want me just to hand you the mail? Yeah, yeah please. Go. There you go. I'm going to have you take, take those on. home. Thank you. I'm going to take those home. Yep. All right, but now, ladies and gentlemen, we finally have gotten to that moment. The moment you've been waiting for. Do we recommend Cliffhanger? We're going to find out by starting by with Colin. Mm. That was unexpected. Mm. The, the quiet Colin. Colin, what did you think? You yourself, about this movie you watched tonight called Cliffhanger. 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 Uh, Point break. Yeah. Point break. (laughs) Point break. Point break. Um, Yeah, this is a tough... It's tougher than I thought it was going to be going into it. Um, I'll tell you this. The opening to this movie, 
uh, and the the stunt work, uh, the whole scene where you know Stallone's hanging on to the girl, that whole thing is maybe. I mean, I'd put it up there and say like that's one of uh, the movies, you know, at least of the. Uh, so now I'm doing caveats. Let's just say that is an <laughs> intense. The, no, yeah, you gotta cut the caveat. Intense. Go with what you what you feel, Colin. Yeah, that it works. Uh, stellar. Uh, it's one of the best things I've ever seen of that type. That I mean, you just you know, you, it, it's so intense uh, and uh, stomach churning. Uh, stomach, you know, your stomach's in knots, you know, through that whole thing. Yeah. Um, I just think that that is the best scene in the movie, and I think that the rest of the movie never really matches it again. I think it it's the problem of front loading it because, mm. like, I mean, I have seen this movie several times over the years. Yes. And like our commenter uh, said, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name, but uh, it's like I remember that bit. And the That's rest the of the bit. movie's a wash. It's That's like I bit. I remember that there is some kind of plane transfer thing, but in my mind it was different than it was in the movie. There were diff- multiple people coming across, and <laughs> it was a bigger deal. And then I saw it tonight, and I'm like, oh, there's just the one guy comes across. Were you thinking and, of the bus to bus transfer in speed? No, I think it, it was the Dark Knight Rises or ah, something. It's okay. like it's a bigger thing than this. Right. Um, so I was kind of disappointed by that, but I appreciate the spectacle that went into it. There's a lot of. Um, there's a lot of cool model work in this movie. The visual effects are, for the most part, part I thought seamless because there's a mix it of digital. Really they're pretty like great. They age really well too. Yeah. yeah. Wow. There's on location shots. Um, I don't like Rennie Harlan's filmmaking style um, because I noticed, and you know, I've seen this. You know, I've had a, a like a, a subliminal problem with this movie just in its visual look uh, before. And tonight I was like, okay, I know what it is. He uses whatever the lens is. I'm sorry uh, that he uses. It's a very claustrophobic movie. He shoots way too. The fucking thing's a widescreen movie where you shoot, you know, widescreen's designed to show a lot on a screen. He's too close. It feels like it's shot for fucking television or something. He did it in Die Hard 2, but Die Hard 2, he used different lenses, I think. McTiernan pulled it off in the first one. He tried to duplicate it in the yeah. second one. Didn't do it as well. He's a television shooter who ended up in feature films yeah, somehow. Yeah, because, again, I think it's the guys who are looking at the monitor, and they're like, we gotta get on close, because we gotta see their... And I'm like, you're too fucking close, guys. You're, yeah, It's like... It's a wide screen. It's big. You can, you know, a, a, a medium on. shot is a close up, you know, on a mm. big ass fucking screen. But he shoots like right in on their faces and it. I don't like it. And then uh, <laughs> there was a, well, or it's the lens, right? You can do yeah, that with sure. a different lens yeah. and it, it reads different. And a lot of the stuff, um, which is supposedly outdoors in the snow at night or in caves is clearly on a set. Because it's Hollywood lighting. I mean, the way it's lit with the sure. rim lighting and all this stuff, it's like that's totally indoors. They don't, you know, have breath because as we said while we were watching, it's before digital the CG, bats. yeah, the digital breath of the uh, of Titanic. They didn't right. have or the thing twenty eleven that we yeah, talked they about. They didn't refrigerate yeah. the se- the set, so it's like you know nobody. You, that, it's a giveaway that it's like oh, and the lighting. It's like this is all indoors that's and thing, it feels. Though. It's like if it's if they do digital breath, I recognize it. If yeah. they don't do it. I don't pay attention to it. That's well, how I like feel. Like, I don't, I don't recognize yeah, it. I don't I'm really like, miss it's, it. It's fine yeah. if it's not there. So, it's not calling thing. attention to it. I don't yeah, think it's, so. It's, For it's, some reason, it's, it's, there's it's snow more everywhere. Distracting. There's it's more snow distracting. everywhere. They're on a fucking mountain. So I like know it's cold. It's cold. But I, don't, I don't need to see the breath to know it's cold. I, I guess, know it's but cold. somehow it was reading to me. It was probably more the lighting than anything. It was reading to me as stage bound, you know? And is that a bad thing? It's a movie, but I'm like, it cost a fucking fortune because they had to build like entire forests indoors. Yeah, they did. Yeah. And cave, giant cave, you know, things that they could crawl around in and faces of mountains and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so a lot of it seems like it's indoors. But then at the same time, there's a lot of outdoor stunt work and special effects where, I mean, there's guys jumping off of cliffs. Yeah. You yeah. know, it, you know, all the shots, I think, in the trailer <laughs> are, are the all like, trailer shots. those are all real dudes doing real crazy shit. Yeah. There's just not enough of it. Or somehow the emphasis didn't land for me. Like, you know, it did... In, you know, say like a Mad Max movie or like even the Mission Impossible movies where I feel more like, holy shit, that guy's actually doing that. This one, unless you see there's several shots where I was like, that's Stallone, that's Rooker, that's, you know, or that's a stunt guy actually doing it on the side of a mountain. But then they'd cut to Stallone, like landing on like a uh, 
styrofoam pile of, you know, uh, snow or something. You see the thing go, or he's climbing up a rock and it moves. You know, it was just like, and I, you know, it's the limitations that they're working in or whatever. But like, it was like, I don't know, it dulled the effect of the, you know, uh, the, the realism of the action. Uh, I thought John Lithgow, I don't know. That's what I'm grappling with. Like, is he a good actor or like, I just, uh, he's one of those guys that he is always acting to me he is not, I don't believe him ever. And in this, it's like, I'm acting like a, you know, evil twirling mustache dude. And I'm like, yeah, I just don't buy it. The characters are flat, two dimensional, all of them across the board. There's like no characterization here. They are, they are, the filmmakers are trying to sell you on the spectacle and the action, which I'm like, it doesn't even feel like there's a whole lot of action because Stallone's not like, you know, making it happen. And halfway not, through the he's thing, not punching or shooting people. Yeah. He's not, well, he's just not like saying we have to go and do this and I'm going to go get this. And we're, you know, and like leading the charge towards it. It's like the bad guys have said, we're going to go do this. And he's like, well, I have to do this as a counter move. It doesn't feel like he's in charge of it. Right. Mm. And I think that's what makes it like, it doesn't feel like Stallone's in control of his character is in control of the movie. And that makes him less of an interesting heroic character i guess for me um i mean just you know specifically in this um and uh what else was there sorry there was another point i was gonna make but i'm losing it so i'm gonna yeah you're done i was halfway through the movie this time watching it i was like i'm actually kind of bored i'm just kind of waiting because i know yeah this is gonna happen blah 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 and eventually the end sequence uh did kind of pick up where they were fighting uh, the whole thing with the uh, the helicopter and, you know, with mm. Lithgow's character. I was in for that, and I'm like, okay. I think this is a movie that, uh, and time has you know proven this, I think a lot of people would like this movie if you haven't seen it. I think, you know, there's enough to keep you interested. Um, but I was kind of like, I, I'm, I'm on the fence because the, the beginning is so strong, and the movie's not, like, offensively bad. It's just kind of like... Blah. Like, I think they're still making this movie now with the same type of, of of situations and stock characters. So it's like, what makes this more special than just going out to the theater and seeing whatever's in theaters right now? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, oh, I'm like, thinking oh, really hard right now. I'm talking oh. myself uh, into, uh, like, listener, I got a pass Dear brailler, uh, dear yeah. everything, you just missed Colin... <laughs> He's so like hard thinking right now. so hard he's about in, he is in serious anguish oh yeah. over my this god right a second ago <laughs> i was gonna go anguish. but you should probably check it out now oh, after saying that not. i'm like just maybe not do maybe. what you feel colin yeah be true to you okay then i think uh go with so your gut yeah, go with dude, your gut go with whatever you Man, feel i really Don't. like that opening scene <laughs> a lot so, that so say watch like. the opening scene yeah. watch the opening scene but the rest of the movie as our commenter said is forgettable uh so yeah i guess i would pass on cliffhanger yeah Hey, st- stick to your guns, man. Stick, yeah, I was gonna say, do it. Stick, stick to, to whatever guns. you feel about this movie. All right, well, <laughs> Sean, you're up. I've talked to. <laughs> <laughs> I I might be the uh, op the exact opposite of Colin on this. Um, I I've <sighs> um, it's been a while since I've seen this movie. Um, I'm gonna say off the bat, I like this movie. I like. <sighs> I like the fact that uh, for, this might be Rennie Harlan's best movie. I think. I think there is a uh, we said seamlessness of of what he does in this movie. It's seamless between the action and what is digital and what is sets. And I, I think he pulls a lot of that stuff off very well in this movie. Um, Damn, Colin, uh, I'm really surprised at your. Uh, so am I. I. I'm really surprised <laughs> at this, like because it all. I think it all works for me. I like the over the topness of uh, Lithgow in this Don't movie. Don't compare it to a better movie. No, I'm not. I just I, in viewing it in viewing it tonight. I like the over top, uh, how over the top Lithgow was. I like that Stallone doesn't have to be front and center for this whole movie for it to work. I think it gives a little bit more to the other characters of this movie to me. Um, uh, I mean, I like this movie. I, I think, uh, you know, I, I'm, 
I recommend this movie. I, I think it's. I, I think it's. I think it's good. I think it's. It's definitely Rennie Harlan's best movie. Um, uh, it, it's gotta be yeah. the seamlessness yeah. of it. It's. It's just. It's gotta be like because he's made some, you know, bad mediocre movies. Um, but he also made the Adventures of Ford Fairlane. Am I right? Oh fuck you! Okay. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Four. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Exactly. This is his best movie. Die Hard Two, dude. Deep Blue Sea. I, I, no, all right. Now I will make reservations because I haven't watched Die Hard Two in a long time, mm-hmm. and I, I will say that I've only seen Die Hard Two like probably twice. Um, but uh, I I recommend Cliffhanger. It still works for me. If nothing else, for like it's it, there's a lot of like reality or real shit going on. There's people climbing fucking mountains in this yeah. movie, and maybe that's just my uh, my feelings toward people like climbing shit and the vulnerability of falling off a fucking mountain mm-hmm. into nothingness. So that but does just that make a feel- good movie? I think everything else in this makes it a good movie. Um, I like this movie. Uh, I would stop and watch this movie whenever it came on. Um, I would watch this movie again. I recommend fucking Cliffhanger. It's it, it fucking entertained me. Uh, yeah, I like this movie. I recommend the hell out of it. It's it, Rennie Harlan's best movie, and I'm all for it. Um, I'll watch it again. Michaela. Cal and I 100% agree with everything you said. Oh! I uh, this is the movie was not enough for me. It was oh. not enough Stallone. It was not enough anything. It, oh. I think it is Rennie Harlan's most technically competent movie. I don't think Definitely it's his that. best movie. I think it's his most technically competent. I think I think a Rennie Harlan movie where it's his most technically competent is the best Rennie Harlan uh, movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's all right. That's just me. I mean, like. The Covenant is technically uh, too, but it's not a good movie. You? Like, you know, you? You know, um, Why'd they hire him to rescue the exorcist? Because yeah. it's technically it, competent. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. It, 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 if I'm going to see Stallone, I need Cobra over the top level Stallone. Otherwise, I'm not interested. Like, You're it's the same reason. reason dramatic Stallone? No, it's the same reason I didn't like Rambo 3. Not enough. I need him to be up to 11 or I don't want it, you know? Uh, and we there need was, over the top ramp. Yeah, and that's, there was far too At many all times, far too many scenes without him in it. To where I'm like, why am I watching a Stallone movie? But I'm only seeing Stallone every third or fourth scene, if that. Even at some points, I love Rooker. I'm not here for him though. I'm, that's not why I'm watching Cliffhanger. Also, I would respect this movie a hell of a lot more if it actually ended with like a storytelling cliffhanger. It doesn't though. You have a movie called fucking Cliffhanger and you don't end it with a cliffhanger. Fuck you for that. Like, how dare but you? But there were but so it, many of them how, throughout there were the so movie. Many people hanging off cliffs. And, no, 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 not story-wise, there was not. Story-wise, there was no cliffhanger. But it ends with a fight on a cliff. But, no, I'm saying story-wise, as in, like, you don't know how it's going to no, end. No, I know what a cliffhanger but, is. I'm just saying. It didn't, they didn't need it. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, mm, how dare... Too literal interpretation how dare movie. they wrap up this movie so neatly when the title is Cliffhanger? How fucking dare you? I think, it's, just, I think it's going too too much to home base if you just wrap it up with a cliffhanger. What do you expect from action movies it's, other than home but base? It's, it's easy. All you have to do is, all of a sudden, he pulls out a ring and says, will you marry me? And we cut the black. It, it doesn't have to be the, like, yeah, it doesn't have top. to be a no, literal thing. If no. it had been a cliffhanger, it would no. have been better if they were like sitting there like, oh, it's finally over. And and Rooker pulls out a gun and points it at Stallone. Yeah. Cut Fade to black. black. There you go. Exactly. But it makes no, Fade sense. Black. no, it, it makes, makes no sense. sense. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. There is no. No, oh, it's it, yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, how dare you have a movie called Cliffhanger that has no metaphorical <clears throat> cliffhangers in it? Only literal ones. So, uh, yeah, fuck this movie for that, first of all. Uh, it it I found myself very bored in the middle. I didn't find the pacing to be very good. I found there to be long stretches. And, like, the set pieces were cool and they were fun. But, like, I think, like, I agree with Colin with the, the first, like, opening act set piece is the best one. And after that, it's just never as interesting. And they kind of peak with that. So I think YouTube the opening scene and then don't watch the movie. I, I, I would not recommend Cliffhanger. Holly. God um, damn it. This is a 90s action movie. I don't think you get much better than this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you do. Um, you definitely do. I I am I am in complete agreement with Sean. 
complete agreement. <laughs> <laughs> this movie again. Wow, this is a yeah, yeah, divided, divided house. Divided. <laughs> divided house. This movie gives me everything I'm looking for in a 90s action movie. Every fucking Got bit. Some low standards. Every fucking. No, I don't. It, it gives me explosions. It gives me interesting deaths. It gives me just intense moments. It gives me great scenery, good editing. Like I Somewhat minor characters yeah. that you feel sympathy for getting shot and dying yeah. in the hands of Rucker. I dig it. <laughs> yeah. Or I mean, Lithgow I'm, is the case, maybe. And 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 the cherry on top, fucking John Lithgow being completely over the top. I'm I'm obsessed. I love it. I think it's great. I think he's great. I I was not bored with this movie no, at all. I was, I was in never the, bored. I was in for the whole show. I, I liked every bit of it. Even I even parts that I'm like, yeah, that wasn't great. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't give a shit. This movie's entertaining oh, as fuck. Oh, oh. What? Well, what? no, I'm just saying you kind of. But then you got some blinders on. Yeah, yeah, you're you're saying I am aware that the movie is not necessarily good. No, I'm aware that there's moments that are not that the the movie has moments, but there's parts of the movie that aren't as good as other movies. Like, if nothing else, we uh, are aware there are parts of this movie that other people might recognize as slower. Yeah, and not advantageous to the characters of this movie. It, does this movie have flaws? Sure, every pretty much every movie has flaws, sure. and I don't give a shit. This movie entertained me start to finish. I loved it. Think everything works. I, and for the I and you said movie. earlier that like you think a lot of people would come to this now having never seen it, and they'd enjoy it. And I fully agree with that. I think most people would come to this who enjoy the fuck out and of who it. are an mm. audience for a '90s action movie would come to this oh, and be I think like, they yeah, the fuck I, out of it. I, I I think it delivers. I, I agree. I think it. I think it is Rennie Harlan's best movie. It's I think, gotta be. I think it's, it's fun. Gotta be. Yeah. Un- unironically, if because if you ironically <laughs> maybe deep blue sea unironically. It's All his movies are, are, are ironically. It's no. This you watch Rennie Harley ironically. movies ironically. You don't watch them <laughs> earnestly. Be the you don't watch any fucking Rennie Harley movies. I think earnestly. you can watch Cliffhanger unironically. Yeah, and I have think. It be his yeah. best well, movie. I think they're well. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, well, yeah. it comes back to Die Hard too, because like, who you can't watch Cutthroat Island now. Knowing that it fucking ruined Carol, no Co. one's going to. <laughs> you know, yeah, studios, yeah, you yeah. can't watch right. it unironically. Yeah. So then that leaves what the uh, by process of elimination, the long kiss goodnight. Nope. No. No. Yeah, no. no. I've seen that movie. That's many like times. it's a okay Shane Black yeah. script, but I think like it's Rennie Harlan that makes that movie yeah. mm-hmm. so that I can't watch it. Also, <laughs> half hour too long. Yeah. So yeah, with with that in in the. In the spirit of uh, salute to Wolfgang Gulich, who died right after this movie was no. filmed. No. Oh. He did. He died in a car accident. Oh, and this dear. movie was dedicated oh, to him. I'll fucking die in a car accident. I know. God, it's really sad. And he did like all of the stunt work for this, for several characters in this movie. That's and nice. he was great. I think the stunt work was wonderful. I liked this movie start cheers, to finish. Cheers to I think it was great. Fucking mountains cheers. and shit. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Bravo. Cheers. All right. Cheers You're to uh, tightening gang. your own Seriously, time. let's bravo to the stunt cheers men to and women. And the fellow stunt people of this movie. Who do shit like this. Yes. In movies. Bravo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In movies and shit. We and wish yes. you had more actual work. And I yes. you know digital what? And fucking stunt doubles. You know what? Yeah. Let's give them a fucking Absolutely. Oscar category. That would be cool. Which they can be identified in. I'm all for that. Hey, but the upside is they got rid of the popular film. I, yes, that was I'm saying. Like, get rid of the fucking popular thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, give them a stun give Oscar. A stun award. I would I'm be, all for I'd be that. Happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. So props to you know hanging off the side of cliffs without wires because the wires show putting your film. life on the line. I think in this, some way or another for this shit. I think this is a fun movie to watch. I think it's really enjoyable, and I definitely fucking recommend this movie. Clark? Cliffhanger. There you go. Cliffhanger. Yeah. Cliffhanger. 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 Yes. Cliffhanger. Okay, well, that's uh, hey, Cliffhanger. Cliff, cliffhanger. Hi, Cliff. Hanger. Cliffhanger. <laughs> Why Mr. was that not still one's character's name? <laughs> hanger. Uh, that would have been, <laughs> that would have been fucking hanger. Yeah, hanger. why not? Hanger. Why did they not <laughs> lean into it? <laughs> lean into it. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Well, then you'd end up They thought they were above it, and they just need to lean into it. Yeah. Uh, so next week, we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by... Michaela. Michaela, what are we watching next week? Okay, I need you all to know this oh, is not no. a personal attack. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. So it is. Michaela, what we're going to watch 2004's Catwoman. 
I'm what? I'm going to take this personally, damn it. Whoa. No. Okay, Hallie, have you seen it? I have not seen the Whoa. Hallie, have you seen it? I've yeah, seen Sean, it. have you seen it? No. Okay, two of you haven't I've seen it, seen, so I'm justified. I've avoided it on purpose. I've seen I clips. saw it in theaters. I've seen clips. Oh, my. So this right. is this story I take is everyone t- down right. with there me. There are stories to tell <laughs> next week. Yes. Oh, yeah. We've, we, uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, we hope we'll wow. turn in for Catwoman because oh. apparently it's time to reappraise it. And oh, maybe no. I don't, I don't <laughs> know. It is 14 years old at this it. point. I don't know. It is 14 mean, years oh, old. So. Okay. 14. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Christ. 2004 go. was a long time ago, man. Woof. Halle Berry, mm-hmm. she was uh, coming was off Sharon the Oscar. Stone, right, coming the, off the Oscar, the this Monster is what Ball? she used yeah. that clout for. Was it that? Wow. Or, Everybody does yeah, that. Like uh, Jamie James Fox Bond was after that. Right? Stealth was after Jamie Foxx's Oscar. So. Of course yeah. it was. The they after, all have the one, right? The like after, the right after the, the money right. grab. After and sometimes, the Oscar, it's just like because wasn't Charlize Theron wasn't it? Aeon Flux after probably. <laughs> yeah, she was at the monster. No one makes a decision after their Oscar win. Yeah. Okay, wow. so that's next week. We hope you'll join us. <laughs> we hope. And until then, <laughs> the basement is going dark. <laughs>